Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to 7 Days to Die. I'm ready to play this game. i actually been looking forward to it, which is crazy. Since I completed, like, the floor last episode, I've just been wanting to... to begin on my actual house because I've been working on this freaking structure for so long. Now I get to start on the house part. Yay! Alright, so we're gonna grab what we need, and we're gonna run on up. And then, uh, I have a pretty damn cool episode, uh, well, episode, bleh, pretty cool damn video coming out on my channel pretty soon. I think you guys will enjoy it. I know I'm gonna enjoy making it. It's gonna be amazing. It's like a mashup. I'm not gonna tell you which games. It's a game mashup. It's gonna be, uh, a mix between games. Just to get you guys to maybe introduce you guys to something else that might be coming up on my channel. I don't know. We'll see. Let's go ahead. I just need like one ladder. We don't really need that many sticks to make a ladder. Let's use a single stick since we have it. Is that not a goddamn ladder? Apparently we gotta use this shit to make a ladder. Oh, that's a ladder. My bad. I, I guess that's not a like, The one I made isn't a politically collect correct ladder. Meh. Oh, I saw this coming. Why did I? Why did I step everywhere? Pretty cool to be up here, actually. All right, so concrete block, boom. First one down. Look how many more we got to go. Lots more to go. So this is literally gonna be the inch. <laughs> I can't. I don't know why you guys watch this. You guys, honestly, if you could tell me why you watch me build in Seven Days to Die and why it's so entertaining for you, then please tell me, because I am honestly curious, because this is what I'm going to be doing this episode, probably. This entire episode, I'll probably just be placing concrete blocks. I actually may have to leave the church area and actually go get some more sand and some more stone, because I'm not going to have enough concrete blocks, probably, to build the entire base. Somebody said to make a castle... On top of this thing, I was thinking castle could I could do a castle. I'm doing a castle in Minecraft right now. It's a pretty cool castle. Um, somebody said build a church on top of the church. Why the fuck would I do that? I could have just put a giant moat around the church below me, and that basically would be a church on stilts. So why would I waste all this material building something that I already have? I'm not calling you stupid. I know it'd be like pretty damn cool. I'm not gonna. I'm not saying it's stupid. I'm just saying I feel like it's mm, what I've built so far is more worth not building the same thing above it. Plus, I'm not really that creative, and the church would probably just be. It would end up being a castle with a cross on the front of it. That was, that's that is what my castle would be. So I don't think you really want to see that. But look at what I'm doing. I'm liking this. I like this floor. It's like very industrial. And this is going to be my awesome base. My other base. I'm going to have to actually clear out zombies pretty soon on my other base. Um, probably going to have an entire episode of me placing landmines and shooting zombies with rocket launchers. Do you like that? I think that sounds fun. But once this shenanigans is built, um, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing. Uh, this is like a mega build. I don't know how many episodes it's going to take for me to be done, but since I'm starting this, this, uh, I'm making this series daily, there's going to be more Seven Days to Die, so there's more time played in Seven Days to Die, so I'm guessing this, I will have probably two more weeks of episodes, maybe, two to three weeks more, um, till this entire thing is tip-top shape how I want it, and, um, then Seven Days to Die, really, like, what do I do? Do I go and hunt things? Like, go hunt deer and just cook them up and eat them? Um, you guys tell me to go somewhere and I go there? Or tell me to build somewhere and I build there? We can just keep building stuff, I guess. I guess it is a big part of the game. So, looks like we are going to have to do what I said we were going to do. Because guess who doesn't have uh, any sand to make concrete? This guy. So, we're actually not going to build the entire episode. You guys are going to get some some funness. I want to see if this goes next to each other, that they'll repair each other. It didn't really repair it at all. So let's just... You know, let's just do that. That's a useless pistol. Uh, so we're gonna go get some sand, because we don't have enough sand to make reinforced concrete. Um, yeah. 
Uh, what should I talk about? In a week, less than a week, I'll be getting some Astro A50s. Or A50s, fuck that. A40s. You guys are probably like, if you're a hardcore gamer, you're probably like hitting yourself in the head. Well, as I said, A50s, you'd be like, why do you get the A50s and not the A40s? The A40s are much better. I am getting the A40s. Um, I've heard so many... Nothing, I've heard a lot of bad things about the A50s. They just... The whole wireless kind of charging stand station thing isn't exactly best for a hardcore gamer because you gotta charge it. You can't really sit down and play. Even if they're like, oh, it's got an eight hour charge. Well, it's not like I'm gonna like charge it all the time and kill the battery and then make it so it only has like a one minute charge and then I just have to leave it plugged in anyway. So I'd rather just buy something that's not wireless. And you guys are probably like, oh, there's A50s that aren't wireless. Well, shut up. That's what I gotta say to you. I'm getting A40s. There's so a lot of you, a lot of you people out there, you know? A lot of you people are very skeptical. Just like, just this, so this is a better of everything. Like the Blue Yeti. Oh, you should have just got like a Logitech stand mic thing and hooked it off your wall. Well, guess what? I don't have that much money. I don't have that much money, bro. Do you think, do you think I just bought an expensive computer and never bought an expensive mic? This is actually a pretty, pretty, uh, high-end mic cheap I like it computers nice I like it I built it myself it's a very big accomplishment of me um, it took me a while to build it you guys are probably like well it's not even that hard to build a computer well, you know fuck you fuck you so we're gonna go ahead and get some sand I've just been ranting um, mr. auger will be muted for you guys don't worry use you guys with sensitive ears I'm well, not I'm not really making fun of you but uh I know a lot of you people were just like, you need to mute the auger, it is way too loud, we can't even hear what you're saying, blah blah blah, and yeah, I'll mute this right now, you probably can hear me talking. You might faintly hear the auger, depending on what I s decide to do. But I do need sand, I actually should go back to my old base and grab some uh, stone, but I don't think we have too much time for that, so... Oh shit, I forgot. I gotta pick it up early because this game decides to not leave things on the ground for more than 30 seconds, so. Hey, zombie! Oh god, you're getting real close, aren't you? I feel like they actually patched the zombies um, just so they're a little bit smarter. And when I spawned in at the church earlier... A uh, zombie made like a weird freaking noise and it kind of scared me, but I don't I haven't heard the noise since we've been playing So I can't really point it out to you guys. Oh, hello. I just feel like they're smarter and like when you shoot them they like die Like they don't just like heave over they seem to like fall backwards and land on their back Do you guys know if they patched it? I feel like the way that they're patching it They don't really have a launcher so you can't patch your launcher You actually have to re-download the entire game and it transfers over your save files and everything but maybe they did some witchcraft and patched the game? I don't know. Tell me. I don't really stay up to date with the whole patches. I don't even know when the next update's coming out, even though I've been looking forward to it. I've been looking forward to the next update because, as I said, what am I going to do after I build this church base? I don't want to build another huge mega build because you guys probably don't want to see that. If they add, like... Well, obviously they said they're going to be patching this game a ton because... We did kickstart them for $531,000 or something, and um, 50 of those dollars were mine. And that being said, eventually they wanted to have, I think they wanted to flatten everything out. Like, it's not going to be voxel-based anymore, which is fine by me, but I don't know how the building's going to work when it's not voxel-based. And maybe, maybe it's voxel-based building with... Uh, flat environments or I, I don't think they really thought that one through all the way and they also said that there is going to be infinite worlds generated and it's not going to be Nav's game I probably couldn't just brutalize that map name it's like brought Nav's game something like that and I just feel like zombies they got like smarter or I feel like I'm just stupid you got boobs um, go home church you're drunk um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna make some concrete, right here, and then we're gonna use some of our iron, and then we're gonna make, a uh, reinforced concrete, where's the reinforced concrete, 
concrete reinforced my bad again reinforced concrete is politically incorrect so you gotta say concrete reinforced this game really just doesn't like the uh, political slurs apparently you guys probably have no idea what I'm talking about but that's okay I like to ramble I'm just feeling it today I'm feeling the rambling mood in case you haven't noticed I'm really I don't know I'm in a good mood I'm not stressed I don't know. Not a care in the world. I'm ready to build. I'm ready to play Seven Days to Die. I'm ready to play CSGO with my friends later. I'm ready to play Minecraft with my friends in like 20 minutes. I'm ready for everything. Look how much I got done. I'm going to start going in this direction. This is going to be a massive base. I'm not going to put a roof on it because I actually... Well, I mean, when the climbing zombies come, I'm eventually going to have to put the uh, roof on it because climbing zombies are going to change a lot. Block melting zombies are going to change a lot. You're going to have to actually start building stuff with stilts. And if they get rid of the uh, water glitch, then I don't really know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe play the game legitimately? Uh, like I said in one of the commenters, he was like, well, you might as well just not... You might as well just dupe all your items so you can get infinite amount of items if you're going to do the water glitch. And the way I had to respond to that was I'm doing the water glitch for only one piece of the base. These zombies can easily, if they so do choose to do so, take out this base easy. All they have to do is take out the church underneath because, look, one, two, three, four supports are the only things holding up the edges of the base. If the church goes down, let's count how many supports there are in here. One, well, apparently I shouldn't walk across that. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to not, f I'm trying to feed the trolls, but the trolls are just kicking me in the ass, aren't they? Like I said, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I died a lot, a lot of supports. So if they take out the church, the entire base will most likely fall unless this game's physics are not intact. Which I can't help. I didn't go into the physics folder in Seven Days to Die and clickety click the the physics work notepad file and click delete and yeah, I didn't do that. So if the physics don't work after the church is knocked down, then I don't know. Maybe you'll get rid of the water glitch because it makes you so angry. I don't think anybody else seemed to care. I like to feed the trolls, so they're really hungry. They're hungry all the time. You ever realize that? I bet they're really fat by now. But yeah, that's, once I run out of this amount of concrete, I don't know how long this episode's been on, because I actually, I like like I said, I minimize this game and uh, like do something else, like watch a YouTuber, watch something on Twitch or something. And um, in doing that, I get distracted watching the incredible or play CSGO, and... And, um, the, the daytime slipped by a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and go up here. Where is my, uh, there it is. I'm gonna go out here. And I'm gonna go see what this looks like from a, wow. Okay. Slow down there, Captain. That is, that is a massive ass church. It is a big building above it, too. It's gonna be, I'm gonna do a castle. I've decided. We're doing a castle. Let's see what it looks like. Is it going to be like darker on the inside since it's like shaded? It's probably all like spooky. <laughs> Wasn't me. Um, but I said I was going like, to clear this stuff out, right? And make this into like a base or something stupid like that. But yeah, I kind of didn't. Drink my water, eat my potatoes. The sole potato has lasted very long. It's not like the potato fame, the potato, 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 potato famine. I think it's Ireland. The potato famine in Ireland killed a lot of people because they survived off of potatoes. It's not a bad life. You can do a lot of things with potatoes. You can boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Again, if you haven't seen that video, you need to search it. I think I brought this up once or once or twice before. I don't know how long this episode's been, but there's really not much left for me to do because it's about to be nighttime. Just look how pretty it is. Look how pretty. Yeah, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. Um, I'm feeling it today, in case you were wondering. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. 
But hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you guys later.